Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, what, what are we doing today? What do you mean you don't know? So I guess I should get some backstory on this. Mm -hmm. When we were on vacation, mm -hmm. one of our entourage, when we went to, I forgot what restaurant it was called, but it was on River Street, I believe. Ugh, I don't know what the restaurant is called, but I'll put it down here. It was very good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Mm -hmm. Um, She ordered a lemon drop. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she praised about it and everything like that and how good the drink was. I had never had a lemon drop before, so I, I don't really know. And I didn't taste hers because COVID. So... <laughs> I figure you have had lemon drops before. You probably just don't remember, but we've had lemon drops before. I mean, I, I'm gonna assume you're right and move on with this, but I'm gonna make one mm -hmm. to see what the what the hype is, and, and then see if I can improve it. I kind of have an idea, or not rather improve it, put a twist on it. Mm -hmm. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do mm -hmm. to put my own twist on it mm -hmm. but I'm gonna save that for when the time comes mm -hmm. for now we're gonna do the original lemon drop mm -hmm. so we're gonna start off with the juice of half a lime which the recipe that I pulled mm -hmm. says one ounce of lime lemon, lemon juice one ounce of lemon juice we're just gonna do a whole juice of half of a half lemon. Of a lemon. Okay. Because I figured that would be more than enough. It's a lemon drop. You want this to be as lemony as possible. The only other thing you should be tasting is the vodka mm -hmm. that goes in here. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give the people what they want. And it's springtime. It's the perfect time for mm -hmm. lemon drop cocktail. Huey's was the name of the restaurant. Ah, yes. Huey's was the name. Yeah, it really was. Like that. Whew! Those grits. Good. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, next, we are going to do our whole ounce of simple syrup. Mm -hmm. Which I think is a bit much, but if this is what they, what the recipe said, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna argue with them on it. Mm -hmm. And now we get into the liquor. I'm going to do a half ounce of triple sec mm -hmm. because that's what the recipe says. <laughs> that's what the original recipe says, or rather the recipe I pulled. But a lemon drop consists of triple sec, vodka, simple syrup, and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do a half an ounce of triple sec. Mm -hmm. This will probably, you know, taste different from what a usual lemon drop tastes like because we're using blended families triple sec. Mm -hmm. And, you know, their triple sec tastes way different from the norm in regards to, you know, triple sex out there. Delicious. Oh, and then you have, so you could, you could say that even with this basic recipe, you're already putting a spin on it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do our vodka. I'm going to do two ounces. I believe the last one was, uh, I believe the um, original recipe had an ounce and a half, but you know, this is me we're talking, so two ounces. Live with it. Kettle one, I see. Mm -hmm. And you know, some recipes you have you use 
citron, mm -hmm. vodka, mm -hmm. citron, citrus flavored vodka, mm -hmm. as well as regular vodka. Mm -hmm. You know, that's cool and all, but I don't have that mm -hmm. with me right now. Mm -hmm. You're also supposed to rim the glass mm -hmm. with sugar. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that today because this is purely a recipe slash technique type situation. Mm -hmm. And you're also supposed to, supposed to garnish it with a lemon peel, like a lemon twist or whatever. Mm -hmm. But other than that, there's your typical run of the mill lemon drop. Okay, let's see what we got. Pretty good. Um, I would drink these regularly, but I don't want to say less lemon, but it's more of a citrus drop. But I mean, I don't think what you mean by fit. <laughs> like, because I, I get it, because the triple sec and you know that's orange flavored mm -hmm. spirit. Very delicious though. Yeah, off the rip, the blended family mm -hmm. gives it that extra zing. Mm -hmm. It does lean it more into citrus rather than lemon, lemon exclusively. Mm -hmm. But I would argue that that's a simple syrup doing that. Yeah. Because it's making it sweet. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put that to the side. Okay. Put this because, over here. Mm -hmm. Because now, mm -hmm. I want to redo that drink. Okay. But I want to add my little twist to it to see if it makes all the difference. Okay. So we're going to start off mm -hmm. the same way with our lemon. Mm -hmm. Juice a half a lemon, AKA one ounce of lemon. Mm -hmm. Make sure I get all of my lemon. I see that. And then here is where the twist is gonna come in. So remember that time I used rosemary simple syrup? Mm -hmm. Well, we're doing it again for this one. Okay. And I know this may be like a small change, mm -hmm. but I think it is a change that will make all the difference. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do an ounce of that. And next we are going to bring back blended family. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, kettle one. So one of the reasons why I made that change mm -hmm. and it was just that change, mm -hmm. small as insignificant as it may be, mm -hmm. is because 
I felt that if I just added another big ingredient, like maybe another liqueur or something like that, it would take away from, like it would be a lemon drop anymore. Right. Weirdly enough, unless you change something off the bat, this is more lemony. It may have more lemon juice in it than the first one. But aside from being more lemony, does that taste? That hint of rosemary gives it a bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. Like it, it gives it more of a fuller flavor, so to speak. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, it does. Maybe it's emphasizing the lemon. It makes it more fragrant. Mm -hmm. Or rather, so you're not gonna immediately smell it, mm -hmm. but like when it gets in your mouth and mm -hmm. on your palate. Mm -hmm. Like you can, you can taste it. This is gonna sound weird, but you can taste the rosemary in your nose. Yes. And I also think that the rosemary is emphasizing the lemon. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, fans of brunch, next time you ask for a lemon drop, or you decide to do lemon drops for brunch, girls out, or something like that. You know, even guys to mm -hmm. drink what you want. There are no drinks that are specifically masculine and specifically feminine. Mm -hmm. Next time you ask for a lemon drop, make sure there's some rosemary in there. And I would say instead of garnishing this with the lemon peel, you garnish it with the rosemary spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did come out good. Mm -hmm. This was a success. Mm -hmm. And with that said, That'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content that's coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram and check us out on Twitter. Um, you know what's next. Guys, if there is a liquor, uh, some type of spirit, I know that's the same thing, but I'm saying it anyway. Beer, wine, you know, anything that we can imbibe on, a uh, snack, dessert, a uh, super awesome food that goes under the radar or is restricted because of country borders or state borders mm -hmm. let us know about it hit us up in our dms contact contact us through twitter even mm -hmm. or hell youtube put it up under the video and you know tell us about it or if you can send it to us or point us in the direction of where it is, why don't you go ahead and do that for us? Right. That also goes for locations. You know, we're traveling this year. Mm -hmm. We just got back from Savannah a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be going out again. Uh, look for us. Find. We'll, we'll probably drop hints. Find out where we're going to be in May. So, we'll drop hints. But, um... Like I said, we're traveling. If there's any places, you know, like, I don't know, restaurants, bars, distilleries, uh, speakeasies, food trucks, I don't know, uh, the Museum of National Rum, I don't know, mm -hmm. uh, anything, any, any place that you think we might enjoy going to. Maybe it's some place that's well known that I'm not thinking of right now, or maybe it's some secreted away place in the cut somewhere in your neck of the woods that you think we might enjoy. Maybe you think they make the best lemon drop ever. Let us know, cause we will try to go there as well. Exactly, you know, or you know, here's another thought, meet us there. Exactly. We can hang out, we got stories. Exactly. We got lots of stories. Exactly, we got lots of stories. Um, and you know, I made that comment about we'll probably be hinting at where we're going in May. But we might just out and out ask the question of, hey, who's in such and such? So if you're in that part of town, be looking out for us. But that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. And until next time, everybody, peace.